Hi, this is Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, and this is Evening Vespers. Tonight's meditation is taken from 1 Peter chapter 4, 1 through 6. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, arm yourselves also with the same attitude, because whoever suffers in the body is done with sin. As a result, they do not live the rest of their earthly lives for evil human desires, but rather for the will of God. For you have spent enough time in the past <laughs> doing what pagans choose to do, living in debauchery, lust, drunkenness, orgies, carousing, carousing and detestable idolatry. You are surprised that you don't join them in their reckless, wild living, and they heap abuse on you. But they will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead, so that they may be judged according to human standards in regard to the body, but live according to God in regard to the spirit. We've been learning the difficult task of living free in Christ and responsible to God. Free in Christ means I'm not under the bondage of sin or I'm not required to conform to expectations of other people that are of this world to do things that are ungodly or sinful. I'm free to choose to follow God, but I'm also responsible. I am responsible to God. He governs my behavior and my thoughts. He lets me know when he's pleased and when he's not pleased. And his opinion matters above everything else. And at the end of the day, I do an inventory at Vespers. I look at myself, say, did I please God today? Is he pleased with me? I check his word to see if it's true. And I find there's stuff that's going on today, just like it was then, that those who are pagan who refused to worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the one eternal true God, those who refuse to be responsible to him, allow themselves to do all kinds of things, to be free to do whatever feels pleasurable or good, whatever it might be, and they end up being slaves to sin. But I, I choose to please God, and I hold myself back from debauchery and orgies and carousing and adultery and all these things that the world thinks I should celebrate. But I don't, because I am responsible to God. He is my conscience, and it's his goodwill and pleasure that I want to serve. Someday I'll stand before God as my judge, and so will you. I want to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. I want that more than anything else. That's my passing grade. I want him to know me, because I know him now. I hope you do too. Let us pray. Lord, it is your good and perfect will that we desire in our life. We want you to be pleased with us more than anybody else in this world, more than even our own pleasures. We pray, O oh God, that tonight, you would reign in our hearts, that you would show what is not pleasing in your sight in our lives, so we can change and correct that by asking you to help us to change and correct our attitude, our heart desires, and to bring in and control our bodies, so we can exercise our freedom in restraint and in responsibility and in response to your word. We thank you, Lord, for this gift of freedom and to be your servants, good and pleasing in your sight. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. No one is ever so free as when they serve the Lord, and no one is ever so enslaved as when they walk away from God into the chains of sin. Just try to break free and see how it is. The only one that can break you free is Jesus Christ. He can break your chains. He can wash away your sins. And in the name of Jesus, you can be forgiven, set free, and empowered to live as a servant of God. Wouldn't you want that? I'm so glad you do. And I'm so glad you found Vespers tonight and you were a part of our fellowship. 
I'm so grateful for that, and I hope you want to share it with somebody else. Hit the share button below. Hit the bell to get a reminder. Let people know by leaving a comment. Share it in an email. Help people find this channel and be a part of Vespers every Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Until we get together next time, this has been Pastor John from Millerville Community Church, encouraging you as always to keep the faith and to share it too. Escape the city. Come to God's country. Come to God's people. to God's Word. Welcome to Millerville Community Church. We're just a short drive away.